All right, following along in the spirit of the directions here, I'm a terrible, terrible painter. So I did a wonderful one color paint up. Um, as you're painting the parts, um, you know, paint them as you wish. It's your car. You can choose whatever colors and whatever schemes you want, which is all good. Just always remember to paint them from the back. And once you're done painting and everything is dried, there is a film that you will remove off of the front. And you just have to kind of work at it until you find an edge here, which is sometimes more difficult than it seems. And then once you get that edge, you're going to go ahead and peel off the protective coating. I just cut my fingernails, of course, and now I can't get it. There we go. And if you get it in the right spot, um, generally it, it will all pull off in one big sheet, which it's not uh, doing for me here. There we go. Not being cooperative. Maybe because it's actually a little bit cold right now. If it's warmed up, it'll actually peel off a lot easier. But you're going to want to get uh, the entire coating peeled off. There we go. Before you start uh, installing it and or putting on your stickers. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. I'm going to do the rest of this off camera because it's pretty straightforward. Did you get that? There we go. Just make sure that you get all of it off, including all the little little corner areas, and uh, make sure it's completely uh, going to be nice and shiny once you get that done. So you're going to do that on all of the parts that you've painted before you install or put your stickers on. Now, moving on here, what we've done is it's, uh, yeah, it's time for... Okay, so where were we here before the phone rang? Um, we put together the helmets, which you can see in step number 56 here. Um, there's several different ones to choose from. We chose the skull and the motorcycle style off-road helmet guy. Um, but there's plenty of heads in there to choose from. Um, there's lots of stickers. Um, the Axial, just like always, has included a very, very, very nice sticker set. So if you're not a great painter, you can just do a one color and put the stickers on. The helmets will screw on from the bottom. Don't forget the little uh, washers. Otherwise, they'll pull out and break through. So, that is that. Um, I'm going to wait and put the stickers on to the rest of the body until it's onto the roll cage. For me, that seems easier. However, do as you choose. Lots of stickers, um, so it'll work out real well. Moving on to the next set of directions, we're going to do steps 58 and 59, which is basically just installing the drivers into the roll cage. There's four screws that you're going to use here, and they're the shorter ones. There's a whole pile of them here. Let's go ahead and get a few out, and we'll go through this real quick. The rear brace where this mounts is right here, and you're going to have to test fit your panel inside and then rotate this around until the screws will line up. It's kind of at uh, an angle, if you can see. Um, but just, you'll rotate that until the screws fit into the right place. And to install this, let's go ahead and turn the cage over. Get our screws out here where we can grab them. And this is going to set down, just like so. In here. So I'm putting it in backwards. There we go. Helps to put it in the right way. These screws are going to fall down right into these holes that are on the front, and we'll put those in. Let's see if we can find my screwdriver and my messy bench here. That's the wrong one. 
There we go. Go ahead and line those up. Get these screwed in. Just until they touch. You might have to play around and uh, move the plastic a little bit to get the holes to line up properly. Got that one in. Now we're going to take a look and pop that up over the top of the brace. And as I said, you had to make sure that the brace is aligned properly for the screws to go in into those two little holes here. Let me see if I can get these started. Again, you're going to have to play with the plastic pieces and move them around a little until you get them situated properly. And then go ahead and screw it in. See so if we can get a camera angle here for you. And then we'll do the same for this one here. The body panels um, go on the same way as these do with the little screws into the holes. You're going to have to uh, line them up properly and get them screwed in. We'll go over one really quickly with you so that uh, you can see how it's done and then we'll do the others off camera. So that's how the driver panel goes in. Just like so. Four screws there and four screws there. We're going to start with the hood. Um, make sure again one more time that you get all the protective film peeled off. Um, if you've got your stickers on it, great. If not, you can do that later. And you're going to see that there's four holes here, and those four holes are going to line up with the holes in the roll cage. Uh, it's going to happen the same way for the roof, and it's also going to be the same way for the side panels. Let's see if I can get the right side panel here for you. There we go. And they are all going to screw on just like so. Let's go ahead and get that done and we'll be right back. Okay, well we've got the body panels all mounted up. Um, I have to say, not that I wouldn't think otherwise, but uh, they went on real easy. All the holes were properly drilled in the right place and all the pieces, they just fit right on like they belonged. So there's this portion. I'm going to now apply the stickers. Make it look nicer. Okay, so we've made an attempt to put on all of our stickers, and that's what we came up with. Oop, we got to put something on the rear there, but uh, yeah, kind of happy with it. Takes a one color paint job and actually makes it look like uh, makes it look like I almost knew what I was doing. All right, so let's get moving on here. We're getting real close to getting uh, this portion finished up. So uh, let's get rocking and rolling. Okay, step number 61. We're getting a little big for our work area here. This uh, XL is keeping up to its name, which is an XL. On the rear, what we're going to do is we're going to mount the body and the roll cage onto the main chassis. And you see these two little notches right here in this rear brace. And then on the chassis, let's see if I can get a better angle of it here, you have these two little hinges is what they are and then we have two little other pieces of the hinge that are going to capture that rear brace and they're going to uh, go right down in here and get screwed on. So what we're going to do is we're going to align up the round area here with these two areas here and the cage just basically sets on there and let's see if we can get a camera angle for you here to see and then what happens at that point is it pivots up and down and again I know it's a little bit hard to see um, we're going to take the back halves of that pivot brace and put them on here let's make sure this is lined up properly. We're going to uh, 
go ahead and hook up the front into the little studs there so that everything lines up properly. And we're going to go ahead and screw on the little braces here. Just like so. We're going to go ahead and finish this up off camera. And then we are going to move to a larger work area for the rest of the shoot.